like real fast. <laughs> and then um, I guess maybe we need to like just get even bigger casting machines. <laughs> sure, why not? You know, down, yeah, let's 50,000 tons. Imagine a factory where cars are made faster than your mother makes parathas on a Sunday morning. We're not talking about any small setup. This is Tesla's world, where a massive machine called the Gigapress is rewriting the way cars are born. And wait, it gets even crazier. Elon Musk is building a 50,000-ton Gigapress, a beast so big it can make five Tesla chassis in the time it takes to tie your shoelaces. Five seconds, that is. Can you even comprehend that? It's like Musk looked at a children's toy car factory and said, let's make this 10 times bigger. But what about the upcoming 50,000 ton Gigapress? How powerful will it be? What new Tesla vehicle is it being built for? How can it mold five vehicles simultaneously? How is it changing the game for Tesla? And what is this 50,000 ton monster? Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the channel so that you can get the technical information first. Why Tesla's different? Tesla isn't just making electric cars. They're rethinking how cars are made. Back in the day, car factories were like giant puzzle shops with workers welding hundreds of tiny parts together. It was slow, messy, and expensive. Then comes Elon Musk, the guy who's always thinking, why do it the old way? He wanted to make cars faster, cheaper, and stronger. And that's where the Gigapress comes in. Tesla was the first company to say, let's cast massive car parts in one go. While other car makers were still gluing bits and pieces, Tesla rolled out the Gigapress, a high-pressure die-casting machine that's like the hulk of manufacturing. They started with a 6,000-ton press for the Model Y turning 70 small parts into one solid aluminum piece. Then they upped the ante with a 9,000-ton press for the Cybertruck's beefy frame. And now, a 50,000-ton Gigapress that's got everyone's jaws on the floor. Other companies like Hyundai, Volvo, and Xpeng are trying to copy, but Tesla's always two steps ahead, upgrading their tech like it's a software update. What's a Gigapress? Really? The Gigapress is a beastly machine from an Italian company called Idra. Picture this. Back when Musk was designing the Model Y, he wanted to revolutionize car bodies. He needed a machine that could handle some serious heavy lifting, but nobody had one. Then, by pure kismet, he finds Idra, who were secretly building a Megapress that was perfect for his vision. It was like finding the last piece of a puzzle in your couch cushions. So, how does this thing work? Imagine you're making a giant kulfi, but instead of milk, you're using molten aluminum. The Giga Press melts aluminum alloy at crazy high temperatures, around 850 degrees Celsius, in a massive furnace. That liquid metal gets poured into a mold shaped like a car part say the underbody of a Model Y. Then, wham! The press slams down with thousands of tons of force, making sure the metal fills every tiny corner of the mold perfectly. No gaps, no bubbles, just pure precision. But here's the tricky part. It's got to be timed just right. If you pour too fast, air bubbles sneak in and your part's weak. Too slow, and the aluminum starts hardening before it's done. Once the part's cast, it's cooled carefully to lock in that strength. A robot pops it out, trims the extra bits, and sends it for a quality check. The result? One giant, super strong piece that's lighter and tougher than a bunch of welded parts. Let's talk about how Tesla got here. The first Gigapress, a 6,000-ton model, was a total game-changer for the Model Y. Instead of messing with 70 separate parts for the rear underbody, Tesla cast it as one piece. This cut assembly time made the car lighter and saved a ton of labor. 
it was like swapping a 500-piece jigsaw for a single poster. The Model Y became cheaper to build and better to drive. Win-win! Then came the Cybertruck, Tesla's tank on wheels. Its stainless steel frame needed more muscle, so Tesla brought in a 9,000-ton Giga Press. This thing was already massive, but Musk wasn't done. Now he's hyping a 50,000-ton Giga Press, a machine so huge it might need its own zip code. We're talking 20 meters long, 12 to 15 meters tall, and over 3,000 tons heavy. It's like a three-story building lying on its side. Tesla might have to build a whole new factory with a concrete foundation meters deep just to hold this beast. What's the 50,000-ton press for? Word on the street is it's tied to the cyber cab, Tesla's steering wheel-less robotaxi. Musk says this press will churn out five cyber cab chassis at once every five seconds. Five seconds. That's faster than you can scroll through Instagram reels. The whole process, melting, molding, cooling, and popping out parts, is so automated that humans can't even keep up. It's like a Hollywood dance sequence, but with robots and molten metal. This isn't just a car. It's a robo-taxi with no steering wheel, no pedals, just pure futuristic vibes. The 50,000-ton Gigapress is the muscle behind it, built to pump out chassis faster than you can say, this is magic. Musk says it'll cast five chassis every five seconds. That's quicker than your cousin scrolling through TikTok at a family function. How? The CyberCab's design is lean. Only 80 structural parts compared to the Model Y's 200. It's like swapping a full thali for a quick plate of chaat. Less fuss, same flavor. With 60% fewer parts, assemblies a breeze. And the Giga Press casts the main chassis in one go. The production line's so automated, humans can't even get near it. Robots pour the aluminum, cool the mold, and pop out parts in a blink, like a Bollywood chase scene with no chai breaks. Musk says the CyberCab line will look like a smartphone factory, with parts zipping through at warp speed. If Tesla runs two lines, they could churn out 178,000 CyberCabs a week, over 7 million a year in 40 weeks. Musk's targeting 2 million by 2026, so they might slow things down to avoid flooding the roads. Why's this a big deal? Speed means savings. Fewer parts, less labor, and a slick process make the CyberCab cheap to build. Lower costs mean Tesla can price it, like hot jellybees, boosting demand and profits. Imagine hailing a CyberCab, hopping in, and chilling with some Badshaw beats while it drives you. Tech challenges. Juggling fire and metal? Don't think this is as easy as making instant noodles. Scaling to a 50,000-ton gigapress is like juggling fire on a unicycle. Casting massive parts is a delicate dance of thermodynamics and pressure. The molten aluminum, heated to 850 degrees Celsius, must fill a giant mold perfectly under insane force. Pour too fast, and air bubbles weaken the part. Too slow, and the metal hardens early. It's like pouring dosa batter. You've got to spread it just right before it sets. The mold's under crazy stress. Injecting molten metal at high speed wants to burst it open like a pressure cooker gone rogue. That's why the Gigapress needs a 50,000-ton clamping force the weight of a small mountain. Tesla's got genius fixes. An ultra-fast cooling system chills the metal from 400 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius in seconds, locking in strength. AI-powered cameras X-ray every part to catch flaws. Extra metal trimmed off? Recycled for the next round, saving cash and keeping things green. From melting to molding to cooling, Every step synced like a perfectly choreographed dance. No other car makers dared this scale. It's like Tesla's playing 4D chess while others are stuck on checkers. 
The Giga Press isn't just about cars, it's rewriting manufacturing. Tesla's Shanghai factory, the world's fastest car plant, pumps out a Model Y every 35 seconds. The cyber cab's aiming for five seconds. How? By cutting complexity. The cyber cab's one-piece chassis and minimal parts mean less assembly, fewer workers, and lower costs. Like building a Lego set with 10 big bricks instead of 100 tiny ones. This tech's paving the way for the Model 2, an affordable EV that'll likely use a similar setup, maybe taking 10 seconds per car. With raw material and labor costs rising, this is Tesla's secret weapon to keep prices low. Musk's turning factories into high-tech toy shops, where robots, AI, and molten metal churn out vehicles like magic. He's called it a cathedral of casting, like a temple to manufacturing. Bold, crazy, and classic Elon. Tesla's still the king, ruling the EV game. Tesla's out here flexing like a champion. Even with electric vehicle sales taking a bit of a hit early this year, Tesla's sitting pretty at the top. In the US, just in the first quarter, the Model Y racked up 64,051 sales, and the Model 3 wasn't far behind with 52,520. That's more than most of their rivals' sales combined. The Model 3? Oh, it's staging a comeback bigger than a Hollywood hero's return. Sales shot up by 70.3%. Talk about stealing the show. The Model Y, though, dipped 33.8%. But don't get it twisted. People are just holding out for the shiny new upgraded version that just hit the streets. It's like waiting for the latest iPhone drop. You know it's worth the hype. And then there's the Cybertruck, the new kid on the block. It's barely out of the gate, but already sold 646 units, snagging the 10th spot among EVs. Not bad for a futuristic tank that looks like it rolled off a sci-fi set. The Model S and Model X are still in the game too, with 1,288 and 3,843 units sold, respectively, proving they've got staying power. Now, you might have heard some chatter about Elon Musk. Some love him, some don't. But let's be real. Tesla's tech, performance, and whole vibe keep it untouchable. It's like they're playing cricket with a titanium bat, while others are swinging wooden ones. Their cars aren't just vehicles. They're part of a slick ecosystem. Think self-driving dreams, over-the-air updates, and charging stations popping up like chai stalls on a highway. That's the kind of vision that keeps Tesla ahead of the pack. Meanwhile, competitors are trying to catch up, but it's like they're running a marathon in chapels. Hyundai and General Motors are dipping their toes into gigacasting, trying to mimic Tesla's one-piece chassis magic. Xpeng's got a 16,000-ton press. Cute, right? But Tesla's dreaming of a 50,000-ton gigapress. Baha'i, that's like comparing a scooter to a spaceship. Tesla's not just building cars, they're crafting a future where vehicles are sustainable, self-driving, and roll off the line faster than you can order a Vata Pav. And the best part? Tesla's not hitting the brakes. The cyber cab, that steering wheelless robo-taxi, is coming to shake things up. Imagine hopping into one, kicking back with some bad chatoons, and letting it zip you through the city. Then there's the Model 2, Tesla's upcoming affordable EV. It's set to bring that gigapress speed to the masses, maybe churning out cars in 10 seconds flat. With battery and labor costs climbing, this tech is Tesla's golden ticket to keep prices lower than a roadside dosa cart. Tesla's not just selling cars, they're selling a revolution. While others scramble, Tesla's zooming toward a world of AI-driven, eco-friendly rides that anyone can afford. So, next time you see a Model Y or hear about the Cybercab, know this. Tesla's not just leading the EV race, they're rewriting the whole dang rulebook. Model 2 
and beyond. Tesla's game-changing future, the Model 2. This is Tesla's upcoming affordable electric vehicle, and it's got everyone buzzing like a street full of auto rickshaws. Imagine a Tesla that costs about as much as a Maruti Swift, but with that sleek Tesla swagger, zippy acceleration, slick touchscreen, and zero fuel bills. How's Tesla pulling this off when battery and labor costs are climbing faster than onion prices? It's all thanks to the Gigapress, that monster machine casting car parts in one shot. The Model 2 is likely to ride the same Gigapress wave as the Cybercab. Tesla's robo-taxi that churns out a chassis every five seconds. For the Model 2, it might take 10 seconds per chassis. Still faster than you can order a chai at a roadside stall. This speed is Tesla's secret sauce. By casting big parts instead of welding dozens of small ones, they're slashing assembly time and costs. It's like making a single roti instead of stitching together a hundred puri pieces. Less work, same delicious result. With the Gigapress, Tesla can keep the Model 2's price low enough to make every uncle in the neighborhood consider trading in his old hatchback. But the Model 2 isn't just about affordable EVs, it's a piece of a much bigger puzzle. The Gigapress tech is like a magic wand Elon Musk is waving over manufacturing. Cars are just the start. Picture this. Trucks with one-piece frames, airplane parts cast in a single go, or even prefab homes built with giant molded panels. It's not sci-fi. It's the future Musk is betting on. The Gigapress turns slow, clunky production lines into high-speed AI-driven factories that churn out parts like a vending machine spitting out snacks. Take the Cybercab, for example. It's the first step, a steering wheel-less ride that's more robot than car. The Model 2 is next, bringing that tech to the masses. But what's after that? Musk's got a habit of dreaming big. Think self-driving delivery vans or electric buses built in seconds. He's basically taken a kid's matchbox car factory and supersized it to build real vehicles at warp speed. This isn't just about Tesla. It's about flipping the script on how everything is made. Why does this matter? Because the world's changing. Fuel prices are nuts, climate's a mess, and people want smart green rides without breaking the bank. The Model 2, with its Giga press-powered efficiency, could be the EV that floods the streets, from Mumbai to Manhattan. And if Tesla nails this, other industries will follow, using similar tech to build faster and cheaper. Musk's playing chess while others are stuck on Ludo, setting up a future where manufacturing is as slick as a Bollywood dance number. The Model 2 is more than a car. It's Tesla's ticket to make EVs for everyone. The Gigapress is the engine driving this revolution, and Musk's vision is the fuel. From affordable rides to a new way of building the world, Tesla's just getting started. Keep your eyes peeled because the future's coming fast, and it's got a Tesla logo on it. So, there you have it. The Gigapress, the Cybercab, and Tesla's wild ride to remake how cars are born. This isn't just about vehicles. It's about a future where robots, AI, and molten metal build dreams second by second. From a 6,000-ton press to a 50,000-ton beast, Tesla's pushing limits nobody else dares touch. The Cybercab's coming, the Model 2's around the corner, and the world's watching. If you liked today's video, please subscribe to the channel and give your opinion in the comment.